Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is March 2nd, 2018. My name is Lynn Marquardt, and I'm your host. Welcome, and I apologize for being a minute or two late. I was caught watching Jessica Jones star Kristen Ritter teach Stephen Colbert how to knit. So look that up if you're at all interested. Again, it's Jessica Jones star Kristen Ritter. She's on Vogue Knitting, and she's very pretty, and she's trying to teach Stephen how to knit, and it's not going well. Anyway, happy Friday. I'm glad you're here. We're going to mix it up a little tonight. We're going to focus on dolls. As always, this is just 60 minutes of us doing something together. So send me pictures at lynn at simplycolorful.com, and we'll share them with everyone or post them on the Simply Colorful Mystery Quilt Along even though it's not really a mystery, but that's where everyone can post their things if you want. And we can talk about our week. So, dolls. Oh, and I'm taking, next week I'll be back to quilting. And the goal is to have a finished Quilter's Choice quilt by next week. So that is my goal. Kelsey and Jean are working away on theirs. They may send in their quilts or they may swing by. And anyone who's in the neighborhood who may have a Quilter's Choice quilt, come on by next, next Friday night on the 9th. We're going to have a little reveal of those. But in the meantime, let's talk dolls. I went to my friend's house on last Saturday after I came home. I flew home from Texas late last Friday night. And I went to my friend's house in Chicopee. So, Chris, isn't that funny? We were talking about Chicopee yesterday, and I remembered that that's where she was. Or maybe it's West Springfield, but I think it's Chicopee. Anyway, delightful, wonderful home. And she opened it up, Pat, and Pat did to Sue and I. And we made a Zozie doll. Z-O-Z-I-E. Here is the pattern. It's a very simple doll. So here is the full size of the body. That's the feet, two of those, believe it or not, that becomes a foot. And then two of these are the hands. So it's a very rudimentary doll. You can look it up, it's by McMahon. And what's her first name? Susie McMahon, M-C-M-A-H-O-N. And she wrote this in 2010, the pattern. Here are some black and white pictures. You can go on and look for color. So she's cute. She's whimsical. She's, it's a question what she's supposed to be. Is she supposed to be an animal? Is she a person? I actually started going down one route, and I've switched tact. <laughs> By the end of last Sunday, actually Saturday night we stopped, this was what I had. Isn't she awful? The face was right here, and she looked like just, um, I don't know, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with her arms back. I was going to have her sitting in some daisies or something because I stuffed her way too full. You have to make her with this knit fabric. You don't use regular cotton, and I've been taught to stuff the cotton really hard with my stuffing forks, right? So I go to town. And I made her about at least twice as big as Sue and Pat made their doll. And I came home. I mean, I had to make huge clothing for her. And I thought, I don't want a green doll. It's just not doing it for me with the arms back there. So I started over. Although I took her face off because I did like the face. It was a little clay face that, they, that Pat gave me. And it came with this pattern. So... There's a lesson here. You can always start over. And I am going to actually throw this out. Although I may save the felt. <laughs> no, I'm just going to throw it out. So, take two. I got some um, some off, some pale fabric. It's still stretchy, but I didn't fill it nearly as much. Oh, and it's got lots of little things on it. And then I put her, her face, which I had painted, 
onto this. So I glued that on this morning. And now we're going to stuff, we're going to put clothes on her. And I have started, so we're not starting with a blank slate because I know that that has not traditionally worked well on Fibercast. Is working with a complete blank slate just becomes a mess. So I have done a little pre-thinking on this one. And she sits up better than the other one and she's much smaller. I have no idea what I'm going to do with her. In a perfect world, she would look like a character from a children's book so I could use her for our May meeting where we have to bring in a doll for, from our favorite children's book. But I don't think she's going to look like any children's book I know of. I had this. This was one of my inspirations. Were all of these petals from Silk Flowers Aren't they pretty? They're all pinks and yellows and oranges. And I thought, originally I thought it would be fun to, because she was going to be green, to put her in a field of those flowers. Anyway, I've changed things up a little bit and I found some green today. I'm going to put her in a green outfit that I've started to sew. And then I think I'm going to put some of these flowers Give her a flower on her bustier, maybe. Isn't that pretty? See, there's a flower with all the, just the pieces put together with a pipe cleaner. At one point, I had the flower on her head. Anyway, I'm going to try and do that. And then she will have a hooded, um, whatever that is, like a sweatshirt. But first things first, let's just put this on her so that then I can do, oh no, first I need to do some hand sewing. And this is where it's not all that gripping, I know, but I have to finish a couple of things. First, I have to hem her pants. <laughs> and this is where sewing dolls really doesn't make for a very good pod, but I'm so glad you're here and I'm going to be glad to have this finished because I have to bring her to my next textile charts meeting, which is already next Saturday. I tell you this doing the, the quilting thing and the doll thing makes for a busy crafting season. I'm kind of looking forward to the summer, getting my summers off. <laughs> All this fun is just wearing me out. And speaking of fun, I played hooky yesterday and I, Chris, my friend Chris, yes, Jean, Chris, took me down to her cape house and I discovered the beauty of cape in high tide. It was yesterday. So for anyone who might not have heard the weather, we're up here in New England, the Northeast, and we are having a nor'easter. It's not cold enough for snow, so there's a lot of rain and high winds. And there's a full moon. The worm moon, as Chris told me, has caused the tides to be high anyway. And you throw a nor'easter on top of it, and there's definitely some flooding going on. And power outages. Hopefully, people, hopefully, we don't lose power. So far, so good. And, um, when I went down to the Cape, we saw high tide and it was really remarkably high. Beautiful area. And so I'm rejuvenated. I came back. I got twice as much done today at work because I didn't work yesterday. It's always amazing to me what a, when you have a fresh head, how much better you work. I highly recommend taking days off. <laughs> So how did I get on that? So I'm, I've just been working away on my to-dos for both the Quilting Guild and for my textiles arts. And this, oops, I still have a little more to go. This Zuzi doll is one of those things that I want to show at next week's club meeting. Show something. 
and I really have to think of what to do for my doll for a children's book. I was looking up examples and I may do Cinderella and Prince Charming. I know it's kind of cliche or everyone does it and I may not actually, but I have two of the party girl molds already made. I've got the armature already done. It's already, I meant to bring it over here and show you. I think I've shown you before, but I have the two forms for two dolls all ready to go. So maybe I was thinking I could make, turn them into Hansel and Gretel or Jack and Jill, Cinderella and Prince Charming. They're very tall and skinny. So that's why I was leaning toward Cinderella and Prince Charming. Anyway, ah, what are you all working on? Again, send pictures to lynn at simplycolorful.com and we'll take a look. There's one. Do the other one, and then we'll just put this right on her, and we'll sew the flowers on the front once we get it sewn in, I think. I think that'll be the best way to do it. My thread is not the right color. It should be white. <laughs> oh, I was all set to get my machine fixed, cleaned. I called the Quilted Crow on Wednesday, but I called too late to get it in the queue. So next, the end of next month, the last Wednesday of the month is when they have a technician come in and clean machines. So I will either drop it off that night, Tuesday, or first thing Wednesday. So I have one more month. I need to get, get her through that. She needs some... Grease, I think. And you might have seen behind me the quilt. I finished that quilting that one this week. The Jelly Roll Race. It's about 96 inches by 96 inches. So it's the biggest one I've ever quilted on my machine. And it, it went great. I used dream cotton. I'm loving dream cotton. Can you believe it's March already? Whew. Okay. That. For our new viewers out there, welcome. I'm glad you're out there. Thanks for joining us. This is, as you can see, it's sometimes we should call this slow TV because we don't do too much too fast when we're working on little dolls. But it really, this is just our time to unwind and do something together. Especially good in the winter months when either a nor'easter comes through or we're shut in for one reason or another it's nice to be together while we're making things I'm trying to get the foot out here Please go well. <laughs> For anyone who's not quite so new and has seen some episodes, you know, sometimes things don't go as planned. But I, I have 
I'm cautiously optimistic on this one. Did a little more of my homework. Okay. So, I so like it when they start to get dressed. Silly dolls. Okay. So there she is. <laughs> okay, now what we need to do, I thought I would fold this in. It's looking a little wide. And I won't do this sewing right now. I think I'll just pin it. Sets of time. Okay. <clears throat> there that is. And what I was thinking was get some of these pinks. See what we could do together. Oh, someone's out there. Who's out there? Hello. Let me guess. Is it Carol? I wonder who it is. Or Jean or Kelsey or Chris or KB. Hey, Chris and Carol. Oh, Chris, it was such a nice time yesterday. Thank you. Oops, I don't need new software. Okay, remind me later. No, we don't need that. Carol, Carol says hi. So what is your favorite book from your childhood? Well, ah, I... I never did read that much when I was a child. I still don't read that much. And I was thinking the same thing. And it was, I had this book of nursery rhymes. So I was thinking of that. I can remember those. Um, um, you know, I liked the little train that could. Um, I liked Rumpelstiltskin, <laughs> um, but I didn't have one. So let me turn it back on you all. What was your favorite childhood book or your children's favorite childhood book? Give me some ideas. The Giving Tree, is that what it was by Shel Silverstein? I read that later. Sidewalk to Nowhere, those were... I understood them as I got older. Oh, look at this. Oh, these came from a lay. I never knew that. Look at that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Huh. Okay. So let's say, oh, well, that's very big, but that's okay. I really do think that's going to be okay. That and that. Yeah. Now this I'm also, for now, I'm just going to pin so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to put the rest of her outfit on and then we can judge whether it's too big or it looks kind of funny. <laughs> she does look funny anyway, but don't you say that. She is who she is. Her eyes are looking askance. That's how the direction said. Okay, so now for the headpiece. Before I put this on, so this is going to be kind of cute because it's gonna, she's going to have a little thingy. I wanted to cover up, I'm not going to do hair, but I thought if I gave her 
what do they call this? A do rag? I don't like that name, but a handkerchief. Thought that might look kind of cute. <laughs> and before I put it on, so then I was looking at different trims. And I think what I'm going to do is put some rickrack on it at the middle here. And let's, okay, the, oh, ow, I just hit my knee. Okay, put my glasses on. Again, pull out your projects or just sit with your feet up with hot fudge sundae or whatever. E.T.'s Girlfriend? Is that a book? Oh, that's, yes. This does look like E.T., doesn't it? <laughs> that was from Chris. That's so creative, Chris. I love it. I thought it was a childhood book that I'd missed. I'm going to be very proud of myself if I'm sewing through this rickrack because it's a tiny rickrack. But if you just keep it on the straight and narrow, it seems to work. And down. Okay. This piece of fabric, actually, Chris, came from a, a bag of pieces that I swear this was a little one of those eighth that comes from the quilt shop down in the Cape. It's in the little teeny tiny rolls. And it was the perfect color to go with her sweatshirt. But it's all I had. So when it came time to make this, I actually made it in three pieces because I didn't have enough. Okay. So here this goes like this. <laughs> E.T.'s girlfriend. She's definitely, that's going to be her name. Okay, so I'm going to put her like that. And then I'm going to tie it. I hope mom's out there and that you have power. I saw winds going up to... Did they go up to 90 on Nantucket in the 80s? Crazy stuff. And Chris, that high tide that we saw yesterday was amazing. Before the storm had even started. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. I just need to to do this. I don't know if I want to do it in a knot. Yeah, I might as well. For now. Okay, there's that. Who's out there? Okay. Oh, this is so funny. Chris says, make one of her fingers, three fingers longer. That is such a good idea. That would be so cute. I will do that. Okay. And KB, hello KB. My sister's out there. She says, I love her. She's cute and a little creepy. Nuh-uh. She 
she's cute. And now when I put a finger on her, I know doll things are like on the border. Sometimes you can overdo them. But for whatever reason, I do enjoy making them. So now she's getting a little cold. So, and this was more, the pattern came with a, a jacket that didn't have a hood, but I wanted to give her a hood to go over her head because I wasn't giving her hair. So what we're going to do <laughs> Fibercast is all about dressing a doll. So question is, oh, and I put this trim. Maybe I'll sew that on right now. Here's what I was thinking is if we put this on her, thing like that, she's kind of cute. I don't know if I'm liking the big flower on her though. I don't know. Let's sit her up and see who else is out there. I'll give her some time to, to chill and see who's on. Oh, I'll get my big, hey, DDR, thanks for retweeting us. I really appreciate that. Again, Lynn at simplycolorful.com. I know you're out there. Hello, everyone. Oh, good, a children's book. So Jennifer, hi, Jennifer K. She says, my boys really enjoyed a book called Extra Yarn. It's about a little girl who finds a box of yarn and knits sweaters for everyone until someone steals her yarn. It does have a happy ending, though. It's a fable, and it's such a sweet book in the end, right up your alley with the yarn. That's so true. And I could knit her a little mini sweater. Jennifer? Thank you. It's called Extra Yarn. Stay tuned. Sue, hello, out in Chicago. Sue says, it's titled Dear Jane. She says, happy Friday, Lynn. Hope you are staying high and dry with the bad weather out east. Yes, so far. She says, I'm jealous of your hooky day. Oh, it was great. I highly recommend it. Sue says, I'm planning on going to the Chicago Flower Show at Navy Pier in a few weeks and in April going to the, oh, and in April, I'm going to the International Quilt Show in Rosemont, Illinois. Oh, that's great. I hope you're taking days off. That's great. She says, here are a few Dear Jane blocks and Lucy Boston blocks. Hint, hint, I'm pulling away on this race. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> look at that but I'll have you know I am going on a retreat the beginning of April and my plan is to work on Dear Jane so stay tuned those are beautiful look at you I love the way you fussy cut them <sighs> I think you should start a grandmother's flower garden too just to make it more even even Stephen Oh, meanwhile, Carol over in the UK is finishing UFOs. This one is titled One Less UFO. Carol says, hi, Lynn and Fibercasters. Hope you have all had a good week. It's been a bit cold here. Ooh, we have snow, but it's the wind that's the real problem. It was my grandma used to call an idle wind because it goes straight through you. Ooh, yes. I've attached a picture from my front door earlier this evening. Oh, it does look cold. Mm. Yep. An idle wind. She says, Carol goes on to say, I have a quilt top finished today. It's been waiting to be finished for a while. When I started it, I made the star blocks and then decided to alternate them with hourglass units. And when the fabric ran out, it was not wide enough. So it's been sitting waiting for the fabric to magically multiply. Sometimes it does that. 
But as that has not happened, she says, I cut the binding and with what was left have added a small border down each side. Oh, that's very good. Very creative, right? It's still not as wide as I would have liked, but it's finished and ready for layering and quilting. Yours, Carol in Yorkshire, England. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Is there another one here? Oh, so nice. Oh, thank you for sending that. Sleep well. Norma. Hello, Norma. She says, hi, Lynn and everyone. I'm not sewing right now, just watching Fibercast. I've been working on table toppers for my living room tables, teaching myself how to hand stitch the quilting part and trying the blanket stitch on a couple. Excellent. She says, think I'm going to try embroidery for the coffee table. I am highly recommend it. In fact, I have, remember my embroidery squares here? I have one and a half left. So you're going to see this soon. You're going to love embroidery, especially in the buttonhole stitch. Isn't that fun? I'm actually thinking I might do some buttonhole stitch around this. Or that's what I was thinking before I found the trim. We'll see. Oh, Way to go. Norma, you can do anything. I've seen those quilts you've made. They're amazing. Um, oh, Norma says, I love seeing the dolls. When you get them done, they are always so pretty. Oh, thank you. Hope you and everyone has a wonderful weekend. Thank you. You too, Norma. Say, give those dogs big hugs. I love seeing your rescue. Love that. Oh, Jennifer again. She says, good evening. What an interesting looking doll. <laughs> interesting, bless you. <laughs> um, doll making, this is something I haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. She says, no quilting or crafting for me to tonight. My eyes are tired, but I'm folding clothes while you keep me company. Oh, yep. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, says Jennifer. P.S. I really like the quilt on your wall. Thank you. That was the jelly roll race. And I... On either side is just flannel that I picked up. It has deer on it and it's gray, which I really like because it has black in it that goes with the little black squares. So thank you. And I made it big, like I said, what did I say, 96 by 96? Okay. Carol, hello. I. I meant to tell you what a, a, um, a Yankee swap is. I think, Carol, I think you were asking about a Yankee swap. And um, it is a game. You could do it with your cards or you can do it during a holiday or any sort of festivity where you have a group of people and you want to get them to have fun together and maybe give gifts but not give everyone a gift. And so you can everyone bring one, one gift, put it in the center, and you're swapping them. So it very Yankee, maybe frugally, maybe that's where it came from. The, the And what you do is you, you give everyone a number or you put numbers in a hat. Say there are 20 people, you put 20 numbers in a hat, one through 20. And then you have everyone pick a number. Whomever has number one is the most lucky in some games. You can play it different ways. That person gets to pick the first item and keep it. Then the second person, the person with the number two, gets to pick a wrapped item. So everyone has come with one gift. They put it in the center of the, the table. Second person picks an item, looks at it. They can either keep it or they can exchange it for gift number that person number one opened. Person number three goes, picks a gift, looks at it. Does he or she want to keep the gift or switch it with two and three, two and one? And it goes on and on and on until you all 20 gifts are open. Then number one gets to go look at all 20 gifts and decide whether to keep or pick from all the 20. So it's a Yankee swap. Now, when you apply that to the cards, I suppose you could do the same thing. You could each pick a card. So number one would pick one card from the Quilter's Choice cards and you get it. Maybe it's topsy-turvy, you keep it. Number two person picks a card, looks at it, maybe it's flying geese and decides, hmm, I think I'd rather do topsy-turvy and so you switch it with the person next to you. And then all 20, That I think that could be a way you could play. Anyway, I'm so glad you're out there. And 
It says, hello from a very cold and snowy Bristol. Woo! It's lovely to be able to catch you live tonight. I ordered the Quilter's Choice cards and received them this week. I couldn't wait for them to arrive and decided to see if I could work out from some of the pictures posted if I could make one of the patterns. Awesome. I've posted a picture of what I came up with. These cards are a great source of inspiration, she says. Many thanks to Color Wheel Quilts and to yourself for showing them. Keep up the great work, Carol. Oh, oh my goodness, I love what you did. I love the combinations of your low volume and that is great. I saw this online, right? This is the one you posted, but I didn't look at it this closely on my big screen. I like that a lot. There's a little bit of teal in there and a little bit of red. Ah, oh, very nice. Anne, hello, Anne. Anne says hello to Lynn and all the fiber casters. It's been a fun week. The weather has been bad, and for three days we were snowed in. Oh, I love that. That does sound like a fun week. <laughs> are, we this, are we birds of a feather that stick together? In high tech, they have bird, BOF sessions, birds of a feather sessions. It's for people who all have similar likes. Anyhow. Snowed in for three days sounds like heaven. She says, so amazing. I had a wonderful time catching up on my Bonnie Hunter mystery quilt. It's now nearly done. I'm just joining it all together, looking forward to seeing it all done. Oh, good for you. Oh, you've done all the hard work, and now it's just going to come together. She says, I'm just loving the Quilter's Choice Half Square Triangle Quilt. It's looking so beautiful, especially in just two colors. Oh, thank you. It, you know, it takes discipline to stay with the two colors, but I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm really looking forward to finishing it. And I even have a recipient in mind, so you can see how far I've gone. And I have not trimmed these up, but I have planned for the backing already. This is gonna be the backing because you know, our Red Sox have started, oops, dropped something have started playing baseball down in New Haven. Hold that thought. I just have to pick up my <laughs> ah. Oh, you sent a picture, Anne. Oh, this is fun. She says, um, missed you last week, but hope your journey was comfortable and you didn't get any delays. Thank you. That's exactly, you know, at this point in my life, a comfortable journey is a nice thing, isn't it? Thank you. And it was, it went, it went very fine. Who's out there? I'm going to switch up. Well, no, no, I'm going to keep going with this. Getting distracted. Squirrel. Okay. She says, I look forward to watching tonight's show, but probably in the morning as everyone is now in bed and I don't want to disturb them. I understand. Do you know what I've taken to doing? I take my iPad to bed with these. And sometimes it hurts my ears, but I put this in. And then when I'm watching, I can play the video and I can hear it. But Bob, I don't bother Bob. But the light could bother him too. Anyway, she says, I'm not sure if I'll see next Friday as the hubby is in hospital on Thursday and in the UK for his heart operation. Oh, so praying that goes well and he makes a speedy recovery just like Bob after his accident. Oh, we will all be thinking of him. Oh, and it's going to be fine. Please keep us posted, okay? And just keep, I like that you're keeping busy and, and, doing things for yourself. She says, take care everyone and have a fantastic weekend. Love and quilty hugs, Anne. And look at her masterpiece. Look at that. Have you counted the number of pieces? I wonder how many pieces are in her latest. It's usually in the thousands, right? Oh, that's great. Oh, I see that Gamel has a new owner. Congratulations to Michelle and Andrew Weaver, who have just recently bought Gamel. 
Did everyone read that? Fulham and Company sold it to them. Fulham has owned Gamble since 2003. And there was something down here. Um, Evelyn, that's what I wanted to see. And then I have to get back to my ET doll, don't I? She says, I wanted to show you, oh, a picture of my first block on Bonnie Hunter's mystery. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to see two in a row. And how I store the pieces in the luggage packing cubes. There are a variety of sizes in the packages. They sell together so you can store smaller projects, supplies in them. You can see the through the netting to see what's inside, and there are handles so you can carry them easily. Thought I would share the idea with you and the group. Have a wonderful day. Oh, Evelyn, thank you. Oh, look at that. Great block. That is stunning, that block. Look at the definition you have. Um, so this is a luggage packing cube. So it it's made to go inside your luggage, right? So if you can see there, there's mesh. Thank you. I'm going to look that up. So anyone out there who's looking for a, a nice solution to storing your pieces, check out luggage packing cubes with mesh tops. Ah, oh, thank you, everyone, for writing in. Oh, uh-oh. I think I see mom. Oh, she wrote and she said, I cannot see Fibercast as the power is out. Oh, oh, she says it's warm and she could cook supper before power was lost. Oh, mommy. Keep us posted. Oh, she can't hear me, can she? I'm going to type to her. Keep us posted. But, you know, she's going to lose battery power. Huh. I wonder if the boats are running. I may head down there and see her. Okay. Let's go back to our dolly. Yes, some people call these dollies. What am I going to do next? I think I'm going to sew. Do you like? I like that trim on her. It looks like she's wearing her pajamas, though. But that's okay. And all of this can come off. So in theory, I suppose, maybe if I didn't do this, I could give this to a little girl. It's not like, and I'm going to, to cut that off. Okay, let's put her there. I did also pull out some beads and some embroidery floss. Oops, and a needle. First things first, though, let's tack this down with some white. And then, you know what we can do? We can put a bead or a French knot in each of these little flowerettes. Oh, so we're still all able to, actually, that's not true, because, of course, Allie and Wendy down under, hi, and Peggy, um, it's very hot down under. I was just going to say we're all enjoying a little bit more winter weather, so we can not feel so guilty staying in and crafting or being artists. Chris, when I got home from the Cape yesterday, I proceeded to bring in a load, some loads of wood to fill up our inside wood carrier. And I have to say, it was really fun when Bob came home. He came in the front door and it had started to drizzle and it was probably 6.30. <clears throat> and he said, hello, I'm just gonna bring in some wood. And when I ever told him I'd already done it, he was so happy. 
And I had to remind myself to do that more often. So all I'm doing is tacking this down. This trim might have come from Needham. Looks familiar from Mum's box. Oh, Sue Norton, you are doing remarkable things with your hand sewing and your dear Jane, which isn't all hand, is it? Oh, we have a space that's opened up. If anyone wants to go to, um, hmm, what's it called? The Henniker House. In early April, we have a bed if you feel like going and quilting. Although we may not, it might be booked, I'm just saying. Getting ahead of myself. I am going to MQX. I think I told everyone that, right? I've already requested my vacation days and I've signed up for my various Statler courses. So I'm taking, that's all I'm taking. I'm loading the next version on my PC. And I'm going up there. When I bought my Statler, which was May 7th of last year, it had version 6 of the software on it. And they were just coming out with version 7. So I've been learning, cutting my teeth on 6. And um, I'm going to upgrade. So KB, you could either come... It's going to be fine because I, I think there are a lot of similarities in the two systems. But KB, bring your quilts out and we'll get some things quilted up for you. I was still very much learning when KB came out the first time. But you have a... Uh, a software launch to do first, I think. It's always something, isn't it? If I really were doing this right, I would tack down all of the petals. And maybe I'll go back and do it. Because little kids will do a number on dolls if you just... You know, they get worn out, get broken. But for now, I'm just tacking it down so we can see what it looks like. <laughs> Becca down in Columbus, I hope you're well. Staying busy, I'm sure. And if, and, oh, that's right. Few of you have requested t-shirts. I have to get on that. Isn't that funny? While I sit here and sew, that's when I think of all these things that I could, could be doing, should have been doing. Do you do that? But I tell you, once I get started sewing, my blood pressure, I'm sure it goes down. I start to get calm. It's soothing. Okay. So there's that. I'm just going to go to the other side. That would look cute with some beads, it would really sparkle a little bit, especially if we put a few Saworski crystals 
that's a little bit, you know, it's funny when you make dolls, it's the whole package you have to think about. Would E.T.'s girl, so here's the question. Would E.T.'s girlfriend wear Sorsky crystal adorned garments? That would be pretty funny if she had, we could put a Sorsky crystal on her long finger. Okay. There's that. I really do like, speaking of buttonhole, oh, but maybe, let's go over here and work on this before we get too carried away. Another trick is sometimes less is more, right? This cotton velveteen sheds though, that's why I don't love it. I may get some fray check. I have some fray check over there and I may put it on the seams. I double sewed it so that it didn't fray out, but it's still shedding. Um, let's see, let's take this off and our audition, was it you? Who said audition last week or the week before? Ooh, that might be kind of cute. Maybe not go the pink. think maybe smaller might work just better. Let me put this. The question is, how do I adhere these? I did want to pull out. I have so many different things that I also pulled out to show you. Oh, I pulled this out, KB. Remember these crystals that you put in my stocking this year? So speaking of Swarovski crystals, right? But they're glued on. I don't know how that will work with this one. I'm not going to do that. Um, hmm. There's some cool beads. No. Some square crystals. Oh, here we go. Ha! A yellow Swarovski crystal. This will not show well on the camera, but boy, it looks pretty here. So there they are. I took one out. Oh, that's going to just shine, shine, shine. And I will use white Fimo thread and a thin beading needle, although I may not need it. That's probably got a pretty big hole. Okay. Yay. So we'll put this one on and then we'll dress her up and then I think we can call her completed and I will have checked off that to do. Yay. Who's out there? Ooh, KB sent a picture. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do this double. Oh, one second. Okay, so first things first. I'm sewing all five of them together. In fact, in fact, I'm using the sewing machine, so they're really 
really sewn together well. Wish I had my porcupine stiletto. Does anyone else have a porcupine quill? They make for a great stiletto. But I didn't need it. Okay. KB, don't leave me. I'm going to check check what you sent in a minute. Okay, so now I have those flowers all together. Now I will put the Swarovski crystal in it like a, centerpiece. Okay, let's put this on. Oh! come up a few times through it so that I know it's well adhered here. I don't know if you can see that. Now I'm just going to put it on the front here. crystal I have no idea what time it is I hope I'm not over Just tying it off on the back. Okay. Tie a knot. Okay. There she is. She's going to sparkle. Put this on. Actually, before I do that, let's see what KB sent. I think it was KB. I'm just cleaning it off. Ah. Oh, Becca. Becca down in Georgia, she says, hi, Lynn and Fibercasters. My friend Kathy and I are in Atlanta attending a two-day class to create a counted canvas work, a.k.a. needlepoint design called Walking the Water's Edge by Diane Herman. Oh, I've attached a picture of Kathy's progress after one day. 
and what the final piece will look like. We will learn to stitch the water's foam with an eyelet stitch and beads in class tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that fun? It's very modern. You know, it's, it's very 2018. And so there is Kathy has been making progress. It's a combination of Bargello, but a little free form. And they're going to learn here how to adorn it with the, the not, I was going to say diamonds, with the beads. How funny that you're working on that, just like I am. I love that. Becca also says, she's also attached a purse project she's stitching. The canvas she's stitching on will be cut down and then sewn into the square opening on the front of the purse. She says, I did change it from using silk threads stitched with cross stitches on 32 count linen to variegated cotton threads stitched with tent stitches on 18 count canvas. So mine is a little different than the original. I'm really enjoying working on this, but the class piece is super fun too. So many projects, too little time. Thanks for Fibercast. Happy stitching to all, Becca Clash in Columbus, Georgia. Oh, you're great. It's so true. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is a summer's bounty purse and I you know, it looks so petite right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mm. Well, enjoy. I'm glad you're out there. Oh, and Cheryl. Cheryl says, hi, Lynn and fellow fiber casters. What a cute little doll. Love watching you dress her up. We are learning a new computer system at work and have put in so much overtime, much too tired to do any crafting. Oh, I hope it does. I hope it ends soon for you. She says, it was a crazy ride trying to get home with all the down power lines and the wind and the rain that I'm having a nice glass of chocolate wine and watching you put your doll together. Oh, that's good. She says, I'm actually off this weekend going to meet some friends at Longhorn on Sunday. But other than that, just relaxing. Have a wonderful weekend, one and all. Stay safe and warm through this crazy nor'easter, Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. And you too in Wilmington. Oh. oh, stop it. <laughs> this is a perfect way to end this. So my sister, we're going to we're going to end this on a picture that my sister sent. I'm going to finish dressing my ET girlfriend and then I'm going to show you the picture she just sent me, which cracks me up. My sister never ceases to make me laugh. It can be something silly, like I'm gonna show you. And I wonder if she put any, any um, commentary. Okay, so. And we are, we're about time. So here is what we did today. E.T.'s girlfriend, thank you for joining me. My sister sent this. Oh, come on. After all this, here we go. <laughs> E.T.'s girlfriend, who would E.T. go for? See, my Zuzi's much cuter. Ugh. Well, I want to thank everyone for joining me and sending me pictures and notes. I love that you're out there. Really, I do. Thanks for making the last 60 minutes really special. Have a great weekend. Stay warm, stay dry, stay safe. And I'll see you next Friday night right here at 8 p.m. Bye, everyone.